Abusive relationship is all about power and control. When somebody is in an abusive relationship, the abuser strips them of their willpower, make them feel worthless, and take away their self-confidence. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Zebra, where we talk everything relationship. Nobody wants to be in an abusive relationship. You meet that person of your dream, and before you know it, that relationship is now a nightmare. You have been abused physically, verbally, emotionally, and mentally. Every time you look at yourself in the mirror, you see yourself as a nobody because you believe in your abuser's lies. Today, I'm going to be talking about what to do if a family member or a friend is in an abusive relationship. The abusers strips them of everything. Take their willpower, take their self-confidence, make them feel worthless, call them ugly, tell them how much they hate them, isolate them from family and friends. And then they turn back and tell them, you see, nobody loves you. Where are your family? Where are your friends? I am the only person that loves you. When the abuse keep going on and on, the victim becomes dependent on the abuser. Why? Because they believe the abuser's lies. Whenever they look themselves in the mirror, what do they see? They see the lies of the abusers. And what the abuser does is that they hurt them and then they tell them how much they love them and they blame them for hurting them. Oh, it's because of you. You're the reason why I keep doing this to you. If you don't behave in a certain way, I won't hurt you because you're the one that triggers me. You're the one that make me want to hurt you all the time. You're the one that keep doing those things that make me want to hurt you. And then the abusers pretend to be victim. They start crying. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. I don't know why I keep doing this to you. Oh my God. I was hurt when I was a child. My parents did this to me. My parents hurt me. My parents beat me. Oh, I used to see my mom beat my dad. I used to see my dad beat my mom. That is why I am doing this to you. I love you so much. I can't live without you. If you leave me, I will die. And so what do they do? They are take it that yes, they are at fault. That they are the reason why their abusers abuse them. And when the abuser is in that victim mode, they now start showing the abusers love and cuddle them. And then they maybe have a makeup sex or they reconcile. And the next moment, the abuse continues. As a family member, what should you do? Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button so you'll be notified of all my videos. What shouldn't you do? Do not criticize them. Do not tell them that they are the reason they that they deserve what is happening to them or they are the reason why they are being abused because they enjoy it do not force them to leave they already know what they are going through they are living the nightmare they don't want you to remind them of the nightmare what should you do Support them. Give them positive encouragement. At first, they won't believe you. Why? Because the abuser's lies is still in their head. So they will tell you, you are just saying this to make me feel good. That shouldn't discourage you. Tell them no. That is who you are. I have known you for several years. 
I have known you before you mentioned the abuser's name. And that is why I've always been close to you. Don't stop letting them know how much they are loved by friends and family. Remind them of what they used to be before they met the abusers. Do not bad talk the abusers or bad mouth the abusers in front of them. Your concentration should be on the victim that is your family member or your friend. What are you doing? You're trying to build back their self-confidence and their self-worth. The moment you help them build back that self-confidence and self-worth, what happens? They get back their willpower. The moment you start forcing them or pushing them to leave their abusers, what are you doing? You are alienating yourself from them and pushing them further towards the abusers. They already feel bad about themselves. You don't need to remind them. They already know they are ugly. They already know that the abusers hurt them. Don't remind them. They leave it. And you don't know if the abuser is threatening them. So you can't tell them, oh, he's just joking. He cannot hurt you. You are not the one with the abuser. They are the one going through the abuse. So they know what the abuser can do and cannot do. Another thing, if there are kids involved, they may be staying there because of the kids. Maybe the abuser may have told them, if you leave, I'm going to take the children from you and I'll make sure you never see them again. Nobody wants to leave their child with some an abuser or with somebody that hurts them. Because they feel that they are protecting their children. Yeah, as long as he keep hitting me, he won't touch the kids. But if I allow him to be with the kids, he will transfer it to the kids. So what do they want to do? They want to stay in that relationship. Your job is to be there for them. Support them with every decision they make. Even though those decisions may be bad decisions. You want to let them know that the final say is up to them. And when they are ready, you're going to be the first person they will call to say, Hey, I'm leaving today or I've moved out. If you force them to leave, a few days later, what will happen? They will run back. And this time, the abuse will double or triple. So you want them to leave when they are ready. If they are not ready, they are not going anywhere. They will still go back to the abusers. Another thing you want to do is bring in another support system. Because if something happens to you or the abusers decide to isolate them away from you, they won't have somebody else. So make sure that they also have an alternative support system. If you can afford it, pay for a therapist for them. The therapist is trained to handle such situation and to help them regain their willpower for them to move out of that relationship or leave that relationship. Make sure to also give them the domestic violence hotline number. A number that they can reach out for help when they need one. Those people deal with such matters every day. So they are professionals and they know what to look for and what to advise and how to help them. Your job is not to criticize them. Your job is to stand by them. Your job is to be a shoulder. Your job is to help them up when they fall. Your job is to let them know that no matter what, you are never going to leave them. That they are not alone. Abusive relationship is all about power and control. 
are you in an abusive relationship or do you have a friend or a family member in an abusive relationship let me know what you think in the comment share your ideas share your story let's talk about this together